Um, personally, I was raised um, religious, Catholic in my family. As I've grown older and become uh, more informed, um, I'd say that I've acquired a lot of the values that you've talked about, but I've become a lot less religious. Um, My question is, you've equated spirituality with religion a lot. Do you think that people can be spiritual and have all these values that you've discussed, but not be religious at all? <laughs> it depends on our definition of spirituality and religion. Um, I would say values is required to actually be genuine in any spiritual path or religious path. Um, in the yoga system there's the yamas and the niyamas, which is basically on our values on our ethics, on our morality. Because we can't truly build on our spiritual experience unless we have those values. And oftentimes, people like me, and perhaps it's what you're talking about too, when we see religions, which are supposed to be spiritual, or spirituality, which may be a religion, when we don't see those values, we often turn away from spirituality or religion, whatever we may call it. So those values are necessary. The universal character of anyone on any religious or spiritual path who really are doing it right in a meaningful way deep way is they're going to have common character and values that are universal. Compassion, honesty, self-control, generosity, wisdom, insight. These are qualities whether one is a Christian or a Muslim or a Jew or a Hindu or whatever. These are the common values we find in, those, in the scriptures and in the lives of the saints, the realized people. And a saint could be a, a mother with three children, or a saint could be a monk who's, you know, traveling around and preaching. <laughs> But without a concept of our actual spiritual identity beyond birth and death, <laughs> without a, a path that brings us to that internal ecstatic love, love for God and all beings that's within us, then the values we live by without that connection don't bring us to the same depth beyond birth and death as a deep spiritual path, which you may be calling religious. In that sense, if religion is a sectarian concept of, of, of spirituality, then yes, it's, it very much could be a disturbance. But true religion actually is that essential spirituality that brings our compassion to such a deep place, to the body, to the mind, and also to the true self within others. And that one can have a very value-based moral life 
without the concept of true religion or true spirituality and, and be a good person and be more peaceful and be more pious and everything else. But to actually reach to that depth of our souls and the love of our souls and to be instruments of that compassion and to realize ourselves beyond the mortality of these vulnerable little bodies and minds of ours. For that, we need a deep spiritual path. I hope that answers your question. So yes, we could be very good people, we can make big difference, but you know, we need to make that transcendental connection. It's important that we have what you may call religion, but not the sectarian conception of it.